Hey everybody! I know this is like a really bad angle. My arms look huge. But I just wanted to be able to show you guys all the goodies I got from Sephora um, during the VIB sale for my birthday because there's a lot and some of it like made me giggle. So I got this Origins A Perfect World Age Defense Treatment Lotion with white tea. It's a toner. Um, I've been dying to try a toner. This one's alcohol free so I thought that would be a good place to start. And yeah, being in the hospital, I'll be here seven weeks tomorrow, and my skin is suffering because I only shower every three days, and I can't stand at the sink and wash my face. Um, I struggle to stand and brush my teeth, but I at least do that. So I just have a lot of repair work to do when I get out of here, and I know that, so I picked up some goodies to do that, starting with this Origins Toner. And I am super duper excited about this. It smells like, I don't know how to explain the smell. It's more, oh my gosh, it's like something you just want to drink. It smells amazing. And then I also got this Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. This I have been dying to try ever since. You know, all I do is sit and watch YouTube makeup videos and stuff and I have been dying to try this. It's a vitamin C serum with hyaluronic acid and I'm hoping it helps with well my family thinks I'm nuts but I have wrinkles right here and deep smile lines. I smile all the time and I have expression lines in my forehead and I'm really hoping that this helps with that. Um, this is one of the products that made me laugh so hard. I got an SPF. I wanted to try a mineral sunscreen. So I got this one from Clinique, it's um, SPF 30. This tiny, tiny, tiny little bottle cost me, um, I don't have the price in front of me, I think it was like $27.50. I know it was $27 something for this, like seriously, seriously. So I giggled, but when I have the baby, we're going to be doing a lot of walking outside so I can regain my strength since I've been on bed rest for so long and I am going to need a sunscreen for my face. So I got that. This is the other product that made me giggle, $29 for this tiny little half an ounce of eye cream. It's the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I am really excited, really excited about this. I've, I'm really bad about eye creams. Um, yeah, I just don't use them because I'm really weird. I'm just so afraid of something happening to my eyes and my vision that I'm really weird about it. This one's ophthalmologist tested, so I thought I'd give it a go. And this is the Origins High Potency Nitamins. It's amazing. It's a, it's a backup because mine is almost empty. So it's like my seventh or eighth jar. I'm literally obsessed with this moisturizer. I can't get enough of it. Nitamins, pick it up. You won't regret it. It's amazing. And then I got the Lancome Tinted Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. This is my holy grail foundation. I live and die for this foundation. Like nothing looks better on my skin in my opinion. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. It lasts for a 13 hour work day. Plus, you know, I put it on like an hour or two before work and then, you know, don't wash it off right away when I get home. I have to, you know, chill for a minute before I jump in the shower. But this stuff lasts forever and looks beautiful. Um, I got a different shade. I got Buff N, shade 215. The shade I have at home is too light for my skin. The girl sold me a shade too, I think it's like two shades too light for my skin. So I, um, I mix it with Hula Bronzer, the liquid, the Do the Hula. I mix it with that to get my perfect shade. So I ended up just buying my shade during the sale just so I would have that. And then I've been dying to try this Becca, what do they call it? Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It cracks me up that they give you see-through packaging and then look at this. There's like, it's not even full. <laughs> it's so goofy. But this stuff feels like water when you put it on. I put some on my hand earlier on top of the foundation because I wanted to make sure it was my color. Just, you know. It is, and I put this on top of it, and it feels so weird and amazing all at the same time, so I cannot wait to get home and play with makeup. I am losing my mind in the hospital, not getting to do my makeup. 
I could do it here, but like I said, I can't even stand long enough to wash my face. So, yeah, that just wouldn't work for me. So, I also ordered, I used some of my points, because I have so many. And they had the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. So, I wanted to try this. I tried a little on my hand earlier. It feels amazing. It feels like it will, it kind of feels like the Benefit, Benefit Professional. So, like it'll fill in pores and lines. I'm really curious to see how this wears under makeup. I'm really excited about that. And then I ordered some samples because they're like, hey, you get three samples. They never send me the ones I actually order. So one of them went right in the garbage. The other two are perfumes. I figure maybe I'll give them a try when I get out of here. Maybe not. Um, so that's what I got at the Sephora VIB sale. And yeah, now for an update on baby Shane. He is kicking so hard today. Like, it's crazy. Um, right here, I can feel a foot when he kicks. So, my husband came by earlier, and I had him feel it, and he was like, oh my gosh, that's so weird. But I just think it's the neatest thing in the world. It's just too fun. So, he's been kicking a lot. My nurse said that because we're 28 weeks, two days, that he is more than likely going through a growth spurt right now. So, which is great news. Like, amazing. Still like amazed that we have made it this far. So it's super awesome. But yeah, so he uh, he is kicking really, really hard and he's doing awesome. Just have to keep him in there. That's my goal. Um, today, I'm in a lot of pain when I stand up. Like I can sit in the bed, lay down, fine. If I move my left leg, the pain I feel is just excruciating. So my husband, when he was here, uh, we went outside. He took me out in a wheelchair, but even standing from the bed to the wheelchair, I struggled. So he helped me get dressed and all that good stuff to go outside. But they said because the baby's going through a growth spurt and getting bigger and heavier that it's putting more pressure where my cervix is so short that it's not able to cushion him at all. I mean, my cervix practically doesn't exist. It's 0 0.4 centimeters so yeah four millimeters if you think about that it's like it's microscopic it's nothing so there's nothing really to cushion him and they, they said that's what's causing so much pain so I'm just kind of dealing with it and not going to the bathroom often like it's almost eight o'clock it's like five till eight and I've had to pee for a couple of hours which I'm not supposed to have a full bladder because that can cause contractions which is a major issue for me especially right now but um yeah, going to the bathroom, I, I can't walk very well right now. So, I'm going to attempt that after I film this video. Um, yeah, the pain's bad today, but I don't know. It's a small price to pay. I've been in the hospital. It'll be seven weeks tomorrow, and I never thought I would make it this far. I thought I was going to lose him way before that. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is good. Baby boy's doing great. I'm doing great. I'm not sleeping well in here, excuse me. I just stay tired all the time. Last night was probably one of the best nights sleep I got and it still just wasn't enough. It's just never enough. I'm always tired. So, yeah, maybe when I go home at 32 weeks, it'll be better for sleep, mainly because people won't be coming in interrupting me every like 10 minutes, but uh, they have to do their jobs. So. Yeah, that's that, and I got a new shampoo, and like my hair is looking super shiny today. I don't know if it's a combo of the shampoo and this straightening brush that I borrowed from my niece because I was going crazy with my hair just looking terrible all the time. But I mean, my hair is looking super shiny, and I am loving it. And I don't know the name of the shampoo. It's one of the Dove Dantrif shampoos, you know, drugstore cheap um but it has the purple lab label something about smooth i don't know but i'm loving it that and i always use my aveda smooth infusion conditioner that is just the only conditioner i will ever ever use again because every time i stray from it i have an issue but yeah i love that sorry this this video became very long i just kind of rambled but i was really excited about my products my husband brought them to me today um yeah, so super excited about that, and 
I don't know. It's just, yeah, I'm bored out of my mind in here. So that gave me something to do. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to my channel so you get updates on the baby. And whatever else I want to ramble about. But yeah, baby boy's doing good. I'm doing good. And yeah, we're keeping it boring. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.